Hi, it's Tony here and welcome back to set up a blog with WordPress. What we're going to set up today is a new theme. We at present have the iFeature theme installed on our WordPress. As you can see, we've set it up together. Now we're going to change this theme to one that's called page lines. There you go. Page lines platform is what it's on. This is one I have. And here's another one on page lines as well, but just set up a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is set up our WordPress blog, similar to this one here. Looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit neater, and not so bulky. So we're going to go into our dashboard. Because as usual, I want to check there's no updates and there isn't any. So I'm going to go into appearance and themes. I've already up uploaded the page lines theme for speed. But if you were to upload it yourself, you just go to add new theme and then you search for page lines. There you go. One, two, three. This one, this one, this one, they're all from the same company. I would pick this one in the middle, platform. Okay, if you pick this one, you'll be able to follow along and do what we're doing on our blog. Okay, so let's go back to ours and we're going to set up our blog with WordPress with page lines. So I'm just going to activate page lines now, activated and installed. Now, usually we could go to our theme area here if I go to customize we can't actually preview the page lines framework what we have to do is open a new tab and we can see what we're looking like okay so that's what we're looking like so far on our front page now we're going to change that quite a bit and I'll show you how we're going to do that so we go back to our dashboard area we could go customize here with most themes, like I said, but not the page lines. The page lines, you start from here. Go to their dashboard, site options. This is where we will customize how our sites will look. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we've got a few bits to change. The logo, we'll work down this list as well, shall we? So we'll remove the page lines logo there you go we'll select from the library one of ours I'm going to select this image for the option and I'm going to show you cool text here you go pick your logo save it to your desktop add it in there's another one Oh, I should have put .com, oh, .co.uk, flaming text, or oh, missed it, wouldn't I? Flaming text.co.uk, that's another great place to get logos. If we refresh this, a free, there you go. So I'm going to leave that in there. I could make it smaller for what I say by changing it over here, but I'm just going to leave it as it is for speed. But that's where you can get some cool logos. Okay. Also, let's see what else I can set up. Favicon image. Right now, I have this leaf of some sort. So I'm going to select from my library. And we have a Favicon in here already. Something that we're using. A little WordPress image. So if I can find that. Um, I think that's the one, isn't it? It's a bit big, but let's see if that works. There you go. My Twitter username. We'll add that in there. Website hash, my website hashtag. So, you know, hashtags are quite big at present. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Set up WordPress. So, whenever anyone or I post to Twitter, it will have that as a hashtag. Set up WordPress. Login page image. You can have your own little image on the login page. 80 pixels. So, we do one. Yeah, we'll do one. Use this one again. Select that. It's a bit big, 
but you'll just see what I mean with the login image. Okay, what else? We'll hide watermark, page lines, automatically show page titles. I don't really like that actually. I like to manipulate my page titles inside of my blog post with H tags. Hide sidebars when empty, no widgets. Mm, should we do that? Yes, we will do. Okay, so let's see what we've got so far. Should have a few changes. Subtle, but they'll be there. Favicon, looking for something new coming up here. There you go. Just a little bit of branding. And when we log out and log in, it will have the WordPress, there you go, image there as well. So, I want to change my front page. We'll get to that soon. Okay, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. So we've done all we can do on that front little bit there. We are going to go with responsive percentage of the width rather than full width. I prefer percentage of the width. Default layout box on the right hand side, so I'm going to leave that. And 320, we can change how wide we want it to be by moving this along here. 320 seems okay, 720 in the box, in the content box, which is fine. You can change the width if you want to here, and reset to whatever it was before if you messed it up. But we're going to leave that as it is, really, apart from the responsive rather than the full responsive. Responsive with percentage, shall I say. That's the layout editor. Next, we're going to go to color control. Save those changes. There you go. So that's what I'm going to do. That's that bit. Typography. You can change your font, but we're not going to bother with that. Head on footers. We're going to enable the drop down navigation. We're going to keep the search field. Here, we could easily hide it. Right, we'll just add the hashtag to get the link to show. We'll add the actual real links in later. Okay, use child pages for secondary nav. I'm going to do that. We're going to have three footer columns, footer logo. You can have your own little statement in here. You can save those options. And the main changes there are social icons. Yeah, I've got them just by header, smaller size. So, so I'll show you how to do that as we're going along. I'm going to go into media. I'm just going to edit that header. I'm going to edit the image. And we're going to scale and crop it, or scale it essentially. Image scale. So that's what it is at the moment. So if we say we want 700 by 55, scale that. We'll save it. Once it pops up, there you go, we'll save it. As our data will change here. Like magic. There you go. Now on my front page, let's see if we've got any changes. There you go. Reduce size header. Okay, so let's keep going, shall we? Uh, where will we next? Blog and post was coming next, wasn't it? Okay, so blog and post layout. I prefer the standard layout rather than the magazine styling. And my feature post excerpts, which are the little snippets you see on the front end. I am going to have, I'm going to go with this one, left justified. Okay, configure full width meta bar. Number four, post per page. We're not going to have full post per page. This is going to have magazine layer only. In fact, I'll leave everything as it is here.
Okay, so I'm going to save this. And go to the next piece. Navbar. Enabled fixed navigation. So when we scroll, the bar will stay where it is. So we quite like that. So we're going to enable fixed navigation. Fix navbar logo. And here we go. Use that. The color of the fixed navbar will have a blue one. And keep this one black transparent. Fixed navbar menu. Want to be the main menu. I'm not going to have a second navbar menu because I want to create one. Navbar and fixed navbar configuration options. Activate drop down and hover. Yes, we will do. And we'll leave the rest as it is and see how it looks. Okay, this shouldn't change if I'm correct. Oh, that's the secondary one. Okay, then. See, this one stays here. So we're going to keep that because I want everyone to always get onto those links. And this secondary nav bar is what we can change. So let's have a look at that. That means we need a menu for it. Let's have a look at the menus. Ah, uh, only two. So let's create a new menu, shall we? Just call it second. Create that menu. And if we add to the menu now, let's view all our posts and pages, should I say. What links have you got there? Categories. Aha, that's what we'll do. We need some categories. We'll add those four. Just to see what it looks like. And we'll keep those there, I think. You can change the order. For content creation. And we'll put to tools, graphics and media, and you can add a link as well, we'll add a custom link, we'll call this one image tools, okay, so we'll edit this one, just call it WordPress videos, Graphics and media image tools. I'm going to put this one like that. I'm going to save it. And then we're going to have a look. Okay, so the second menu has to go into the bottom bit. So you go back to page lines, site options. And the secondary menu we're going to, you know. So it was navbar, wasn't it? There you go. Let's save that. Now see what we've got. There you go. Perfect. So now, almost done. We're almost done. What's the advanced? Enable feature metal panel on posts. Okay. Okay, we're not going to use a slide on post at present. We've now got an affiliate link. Okay, I'm just going to leave that as it is, the advanced bit. Don't really need to worry about that. Custom code. We'll use this most certainly later on for our Google Analytics and our head scripts and stuff. But not for now. For now, we want to work on, you'll just check, page options because we want to make sure that the front page the front page doesn't have the sidebar on it and we're going to configure this a bit differently as well there you go so this is the page for editing and as you can see when you actually get into the page you're able to change quite a lot of information in there as well so full width update that so, get rid of this bar here, which is a social plugin I no longer need. Managed to delete the Twitter, social, and Google 
plugin for here. I've also deleted quite a few plugins uh, that we don't really need anymore with this theme. I'm just going to set up the front page because I want to change here, but if we get any visitors now, it's a bit boring. So I'm going to set up the front page to be the blog page for now. And then in our next video, I will change up that main home page with some copy and some graphics and then add some of the features from page lines like the boxes that I want at the top. Okay, so firstly, let's go to reading settings, change that front page display, and we can work on the that's all we need to do. We can work on the other information and not disturb the look of the site. So so a quick scandal. There you go. That's how we look so far. So I'm going to leave it like that. And we'll be back next time. Set up a blog with WordPress. Come visit us soon.